Howdy y'all, I'm Round the Wheel, you're watching Custom Level Chaos, a Super Mario Bros. 3 ROM hack, and we are on the last world of Custom Level Chaos, and if I don't miss my guess, then we are probably, this is probably not going to take any longer than the others have, with only a few exceptions, this has not been an especially hard game, and I don't see any hands of fate here, I don't see any, uh, Really fast auto scrolling airships, although who knows what the levels ahead are heightened. This is not dark at all. Although I kind of like the. Huh. <laughs> I, I will never cease to be amazed by how weird and wacky this, this ROM hacks theming is. Like you go to Darkland, you're expecting to. To see things that are maybe related to the dark, maybe some auto scrolling tanks or something. And just, okay, we have. We have an ice land level that looks like a rip off of a water land level. Uh, one thing I will say, uh, this hack is always throwing curveballs. This feels like that one Skyland level as well, where if you take the top route, you, uh... Okay, let's see. We can probably just skip them. Hey, alright, free power up right at the end of the level where I probably don't need it. And yeah, more Skyland action. This is... This is not the World 8 I was expecting, but you know what? That doesn't make it a bad World 8. Okay, let's let's get everybody in for the group picture. There we go. Did not get to 99 lives, but then again, I think I would have had to have tried really hard to manage such a feat. What's going on here? Again, not very dark out here. This is not the kind of scenery I would have expected. This is not exactly uh, foreboding town USA. But I'll crunch the bricks in the happy sunlight, you know. You know, you're painting uh, you're painting an unusual picture here, Bowser. You're trying to make your world look uh, dour and dark and on fire, and I kind of didn't want that, but I was too confused by the giant desert to, to really avoid doing anything else. Um, enemy? Enemy. There we go. The enemy. Okay, so this is this is so bizarre. Like, I hardly even know what to say. I only recognized at the last second that that was a Sledge Brother, because yeah, the spriting in this game is not always 100 emoji. Uh, are we going to be seeing a fire snake? I don't think we've seen a single fire snake. This this hack has not really made the most use of. Okay, well, that is definitely a jump. Good thing I'm good thing I'm leafed up and ready for action. Okay, well maybe I wanna. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's fly it over. We are in flyover country now. Uh, you know what? When there's literally nothing in the sky. Uh, okay, yeah, I kind of needed some bearings there. <laughs> when the sky is completely empty and bereft of any decoration whatsoever. Uh, call me crazy, but that makes me feel a little, that makes me feel a little nervous about what I'm actually doing. Alright, so we got giant piranhas stuffed into tiny pipes, but it's okay. This is, oh, Boom Boom, was not expecting to see Boom Boom here. Boom Boom, you're, uh, have you tried a skin treatment, Boom Boom? Maybe you should moisturize. You don't look very accustomed to the daylight. But I do kind of like the backdrop of the giant pyramid of this Boom Boom fight. Hey, there we go. We're free to go to Bowser's Mini Fortress anytime we choose. But I'm going to I'm going to trek through the uh, Caramel Ocean here and instead try my hand at World 3. Okay, this feels like one of those hand levels that would have pulled you in, except it's uh, full of Goombas. I don't think they ever made a Goomba-based one. That's probably because that would not have been hard or difficult at all whatsoever. Hey, there's the return of the gray water though. We must be in that one fortress that was e1s that is probably for english one stud i know i sure was a stud back in my english one days i thought i was hot poop well that was short all right let's see what power-ups we can pick up on the way to what is sure to be an anticlimactic bowser stage a hammer brothers suit the one thing i was planning on wearing to the show you know what they say dress for the career you want not the career you have and it was always my desire as a child to be a hammer brother when i when i was asked what i wanted my career to be 
on school assignments, I would write, I would like to be a Hammer Brother. And my teachers worried about me and called my parents. Let's be a Hammer Brother for the final stage. It's always fun to pelt Bowser with hammers. Okay, I don't feel too intimidated here. Unless I'm unlocking another level after this. This isn't even tracking with the normal level length of... Okay. Alright, well I know there's land there. Oh, we've got a bit of a... We've got a bit of a maze here. A little bit of a non-linear bit going on here. There we go. All right. Oh no, it's not non-linear at all. I can just go into the basement for a power-up. Okay. Okay. Why, why don't you hang down there with your friends that I've made too scared to? Okay, that was technically a blind drop. Not very nice. I can kill roto discs, right? I think I can. Sometimes you can with the hammer. It's it's a little bit dicey though. A little bit touch and go. All right. You can definitely kill ghosts with a hammer. I'm going to need that for sure, because the ghost in this ROM hack, or the one ghost I remember seeing anyway, kind of had a way of hauling butt. So, okay. I feel like this is solid, but maybe it's those lamps that are supposed to be in the spiral tower level, and they just they don't show up correctly. You always play a little more carefully when you have a hammer suit. Uh, uh, you want to... You want to be lured down into death? Yeah, I thought you did. Okay. Beep. Oh, no! That was a... Whoa, okay, well, I see I see lots of things happening here. Okay, well, okay, now I know for the future. Okay, if I stay on the edge, if I just plant myself on the edge here, I'm fine. Well, that's certainly a strategy. Let's get out of here before I make this too much worse on myself. If I had known before, I would have just started firing away. Okay, go. <laughs> well, you're trying to do something, and I respect it, but it looks like we're at the Bowser fight already. Are the boos going to follow me into the Bowser fight? That would be just... That would be unacceptable. Aw, oh, man. Okay, yeah, it's still technically showing up. Let's jump over it, because that's the only way I... Re oh! Are you expecting me to fight Bowser with... You sure are. Okay. All right. Well, that's fun. That's that takes kind of some of the sting off of losing it earlier. <laughs> well, they they really want you to have a quick experience with this game, don't they? All right. Well, we did it. We beat Bowser with the Hammer Brothers suit. Bowser cannot borrow my clothes. No dice. What a drag. Let's go in. And that's a. Uh, that's it for custom level chaos, I suppose. I was intending to play something short, and this looked like it fit the bill, but I didn't know it was going to fit the bill that well. That was that was some absolutely wild and wooly ROM hacking. Very rompy. I don't know that I would call the levels designed in any meaningful sense, but you can't really do super complicated stuff with Mario 3. Mario 3 is built to be kind of punchy. If you want exploration... You should play a Super Mario World hack, which I'm thinking of doing, but I think I'm going to move on to something else for now. It's, I've kind of got a few Mario World ROM hacks in my back pocket, but I think we're going to move on to uh, something else. Something else that I think y'all, you know, I predict y'all gonna enjoy. Those do not look like the maps I remember seeing in this. I don't remember seeing Japan here in the in the mix. That's not... None of these look familiar. These, these don't look like the worlds I played. The worlds I know and love. These look like they might even span multiple screens, which, uh... Goodness gracious. Well, who ever heard of such a thing? World maps that span multiple screens? That's... That's... I don't know if the NES can handle that. I mean, it's, it's a powerful machine, to be sure. But, uh... Ugh, multiple map screens, just, uh, I'm over here tugging my collar and sweating. Like, that seems like, I don't know, I don't know if technology has really advanced that far, if you catch what I'm saying. See, and look at that big castle, like, who would, who would have such a big castle? That doesn't really seem like Bowser's deal to me. But, there you have it. Maybe I don't know anything about Mario 3. Maybe I'm just a goofball playing video games on the internet, who knows. But I will see you guys next time for yet another new game. And I hope you uh, I hope you are ready for it because you're going to have to decide which tribe you're in. Uh, I'll see you guys there.